In this video, I will show a simple example of how Python can be used for ETL work. Specifically, what I'm doing is I'm looking at a list of email addresses and trying to separate what I would consider a valid email address from invalid email addresses. To do that, I've written a Python script. The uh, Python script uses the built-in regular expression module. I do, do that, I connect it to my script by using the import command. It imports the code from the regular expression module. Module is a, a file that contains some already created Python code. I look up on the internet and find a regular expression string of characters that represents what I'm looking for. This is uh, pretty easy to find out there, although there's usually quite a lot of variations. For example, this is one of the simpler ones. It's just looking for Unicode or wide string characters with an at symbol, some more characters with a dot, and a couple more characters after that, two or three characters after that. So we would, uh, this would be a match because it has the at symbol. This would be a match if it has a couple of characters, oops, CA. California, <clears throat> or Canada, excuse me. Uh, this would be a match for commercial. And that's just what it's doing. There's, um, there's lots of different ways to write these patterns. And what I recommend is if you want to, to use something like this, you just go on the internet and, and take a look for it until you get so used to it that you can just write your own. I will say though, that it's important when you find free code to test free code, because well, it's free, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee it's going to be perfect. In our case, we're going to test it by creating two different files. One file will hold our valid email data, and one will hold the invalid email data. And we'll read the email data file. That's the one I've written here. And then we will create those other two files and put the data in there. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to open up these the invalid and and valid files in write mode now these files don't exist yet they're going to be in a folder called data to process let me go over to my local drive here i've already made a folder called data to process if i had not made that folder i would have to make it i copy the text file into that folder and now the text files in the data to process folder now on a mac it's going to look a little different because mac doesn't use the the drive letters it'll look more like this it'll be let's say that you've made a folder in your documents so this is your user user um directory and then documents or desktop or would be under that and then you make a go to documents make a folder called data to process and put it in there other than that it's it's the same um, then I'm going to open the email data in read mode read through there and I'll do that by calling read line to get the header that will just give me the column name. This is a column of data. I'll <clears throat> put that in a variable called header row because it's going to be the, the header row of my data. I'm going to write it in both the valid and invalid files so that my, my new files will have the name email address across there. If it was, if it was more data like first name, last name, phone number, email address, this the, that column name is what you're across the top. And then for each line left in that file, I'm going to loop through it automatically with a for loop. The for loop is going to grab the row of data. It'll put it in this variable called str line. That's a line of data. I'm going to search through that line to see if it matches my regular expression. And if it does, this will return true. And if it returns true, I'll print out the word valid just for the human to look at. 
but I will also write it to my valid data stream. In other words, I'll write it in my file that I opened here. <coughs> if it doesn't match, I'll put it in the invalid one. And when I'm all done, I'll close up the connection. So it's quite um, as easy to test this as just to run the code. I'll just go ahead and, and run the mo code module. And it runs. You can see I get my new files. And in the invalid one, I see all the ones that didn't match the pattern. There's only one that actually does match the pattern. <clears throat> and that's the, the first one there. So that's the way I would test it. <clears throat> and um, this is kind of fun to play around with. You could look on the internet for all kinds of different strings and, and put them in there and just change the data a little bit and, and test it. See if, uh, see if it makes sense to you. Or just add some more emails in here and see when it does work and when it doesn't. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful to, to a helpful demonstration. And thank you for watching.